Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. Don't forget to subscribe down below to see more of my videos. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now. Um, I wanted to do another kind of like holiday look. This one's a little more dramatic with the red lips and kind of like the dark... I wanted to do like a taupey kind of more like ashy um, smoky eye. So that is kind of what I went for today and I like the way it turned out. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see how to recreate this makeup look, then let's just jump right in. Okay, so I already primed my eyelids. I'm going in with the Morphe 35P palette. I'm using this kind of ashy toned color because I wanted to keep the eyes more on like the taupey, cool toned side. So I'm going in with this kind of shade. You can find a shade like this probably in any of the palettes you own. So just go ahead and apply any cool toned eyeshadow that you have. I'm using a big fluffy brush. This is from Sigma, I think so. And I'll have all of the um, items that I used linked down below. And then I'm going to go in with a smaller tapered brush and I'm taking this darker kind of ashy shade. It's like the same level. No, it's not the same level. It's the same kind of color. It's just darker. And I'm going to apply this into the outer corner and I'm going to further blend it into the inner corner, but I wanted like most of the pigment on the outer corner. So that is what I'm doing. Now I'm going in with that same brush we first applied the color with and I'm just going to further blend this out so that we don't have any harsh lines. Now taking this shadow from Makeup Geek, this is the color Vanilla Bean. It's just a very kind of vanilla toned eyeshadow and this is just going to uh, further blend. Now I'm going into the Naked palette. This is Dark Horse. It was hard. I wanted to find a more kind of like more on the silver toned eyeshadow. But I went in with this one and I liked it but I wanted it to be a little more um, on the silver side. So you will see in a second what color I'm going to use but I'm just going to blend this out again so that there's no harsh lines. So now taking this eyeshadow from Makeup Geek, this is in the color Prom Queen. I wanted to make the look a little more cool tone because that last color we used was a little too warm. And then I'm going in with this silver from the Lorac Pro palette. And I'm just going to put this on the ball of my eyelid. I wanted the look to be more cool tone, so that is why I decided to go in with that. And I really like the colors that it came out with. I really enjoy it. So I'm just going to blend out the outer crease again and I'm using this white shade right here to put under my brow bone. So I'm sure you can find any white like this just to um, place under your brow bone. So now I'm going in with this brown eyeliner. This is from Urban Decay. I can't remember what the name is, but it has like a kind of like gray toned brown shade to it. So that's why I wanted to use it today. I wanted to stay away from the black because I always do a black wing, so I wanted to switch it up. If you want to do a black wing, by all means, go for it. But I'm just going to use this color. And then I'm using a flat shader brush. And I'm just going to kind of smoke this out and create a wing. But the more I do this, the more I go back and kind of add more pigment to it. Because once you try to like blend it away, you lose some of the color. I wanted to use a like liquid eyeliner for this, but I didn't have any brown ones. So that's why I'm using just a regular eyeliner. But if you have a brown like felt tip liquid eyeliner, that would be awesome. But I'm just going to use this and keep blending that out. Oh, yeah. 
So next I'm gonna apply these lashes and I'm so pissed off because my camera died and I filmed all of my face and it didn't get on camera. So all I did was just applied the same eyeshadows on my lower lash line and just smoked them out. And I will have everything I used on my face in the description box. You guys have seen me apply my face makeup several times so I'm sure you could just go watch another one of my videos but for my lips I'm using this liquid no not liquid lipstick this lip liner from Jordana and then I'm going to top it with Colourpop's liquid lipstick and I'm just going to put this on my lips and this one is in the color creeper and the lip liner I used from Jordana is in the color let me check Sedona red and then I wanted a more kind of glossy effect, so I went in with the NYX Butter Gloss, and this is in the color Cherry Pie. So I applied this to my lips, and then I'm just going to set my face with some Smashbox Primer Water, and that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy. Bye.